So you got your one of the popular indoor hydroponic systems and you're getting your grow on, you'd be growing some lettuce, tomatoes, things of that nature. But down the road, you notice that some of your plants uh, aren't doing so well or they're growing really big on one side of the growing deck versus the other. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go off into this shop and I'm gonna show you something and it's gonna be a hack that'll probably help you out. So let's go. Before we get started, Lord of Mercy, my name is Dan, and if you are new to the Home in the Sticks channel, I want to welcome you. And if you are returning just to see what I got going on over here, because it's always something, I thank you for coming back. So we all know that one of the most critical and important parts of an indoor hydroponic system is the pump, and the method in which the way that the pump delivers water to what you're trying to grow. Let me show you a couple of methods. So what we're looking at right here is my Arrow Garden uh, Form 12 XL. And the way that this growing system disperses water is through, of course, through a pump that pumps water into this grow deck. And on this grow deck is 12 different holes. This machine is pumping water into the grow deck now. So how this works is if you have a sponge and a basket in each one of these holes, each one of the baskets will receive water when the pump runs. And I think it's an excellent way to uh, disperse water to each plant that you have growing in here. Now I have two Isnic cucumbers growing in this system. And the thing that I want to stress upon or the thing that I want to hit on is while this growing system is pumping water into this grow deck, and there's nothing in this hole right here. So the aeration of the water from the uh, water falling and splashing and creating small bubbles in this tank, that's what's helping these roots stay healthy and helping the plant to grow. So the splashing of the water in that reservoir or that tank is aerating the nutrients in the water. So that's, that's a good thing. Now what I have right here is a Let Pot LPH SE or the Let Pot Senior. I've been wanting to get one of these because of course I have some other stuff that I want to grow. But I want to also show you the pump on this grow system and how it works. All right, so I have this system on and the pump is running. And hopefully y'all can see that. But this is how the pump works. It just uh, makes just a slight swirling motion, if you will. Now, in my opinion, does this aerate the water or move the nutrients around? No, not at all. You can't really see it on camera, but this side of the system is the water is just hardly moving. And it's the same on this side. The pump is not di mounted directly in the middle of the system it's off to the left. So not much water moving around. Now, unlike an arrow garden deck, uh, there are no holes where the pump feeds the grow deck. Your baskets and your pods are just suspended in each one of these holes. And your roots, of course, just lay in the water. This pump is supposed to aerate nutrients to help those roots grow. Now, what I'm gonna show you is just a little hack. If you have a lead pot or any type of growing system that has a pump such as this, I'm gonna show you a simple hack that you can use or you can do to your pump that'll show enough, show enough, agitate that water, get that nutrient stirring around, and I'm sure that your, the roots on your plants are gonna be really, really happy. So what you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. I'm using a pair of tubing cutters because that's what I had on hand. A quarter inch barbed tee or just a quarter inch T and some quarter inch tubing. That's it. So here is the pump out of the let pot system. Here's the lid. There is the filtration foam in there. That's what it's called. And you see those little bitty small holes? That's what creates the swirling action in the water tank. Okay, on this let pot pump, there is a water outlet on top of the pump and you should be able to just pull the fitting out and what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of quarter inch tubing and we're going to push it on to the end of that outlet. It's going to look like that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our quarter inch T and we're going to insert it into the other end of the tube. And it's going to look like that. 
we're going to insert this whole assembly back into the pump and that's what you should be left with. Okay, I install the pump back into the system. Let's fire it up and see what happens. There we go. Now look at that aeration. Hopefully the glare is just not messing everything up. Now we are really aerating that water and I don't, you probably won't be able to see it, but there's a bunch of bubbles that are being created by splitting that, uh, that water off into a T and making it splash into the water. So that's really going to aid in aerating the water and the nutrients. So I know this little hack is working really good because I have little water droplets just all over this system. So I'm, I'm happy to see that. And once you put this, once you put your deck on top of it, yeah, you won't have all that splashing. Now one thing I'll say about the cover for the pump, you probably need it in there because this is what holds the pump down. So what I may do is I may take me a drill bit and drill out those little bitty circles to where my tubing will slide right up and I could hook up the T and get my air raid on. Here's a shot of the system with the grow deck on and you may I may have to do some fine tuning and a little bit of trimming on my tubing. The deck is sitting in sitting on top of the unit good, it's sturdy. But take a look at that. Shoot, I would have thought this is an arrow garden with all that water moving around. Well, all right, that's what I wanted to share with you and y'all today. A simple hack to step up your aeration game in your hydroponic system, your indoor hydroponic system that you may have. Because again, we do know that water aeration is key. The pump is one of the big, it's the heart of a hydroponic system. So if we can get that water stirred up and moving around, that's what we want. Because we want those nutrients to get stirred up and move around. So a little hack and probably cost you a buck 50, maybe two bucks to do this little bit of hack. And yeah, you can get all those parts anywhere. Walmart, uh, pet store, they're just, they're real cheap. Now for the folks that may be wondering about the noise level, uh, yeah, it makes a little bit of noise because water is splashing. But for me, it doesn't bother me. I actually like hearing it. So if uh, the water splashing or the noise is something that may bother you, then this might not be the hack for you. So I hope everybody's having a great weekend and I hope everybody's staying safe amid the crisis that's uh, still going on. It doesn't seem like it's getting any better. If you like this video, go and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home of the Six channel, Lord of mercy. Y'all need to come over and give old Dan a look because I'm always doing stuff like up in my aeration game and my hydroponic systems. With that being said, Lord of mercy, I'm always going to say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. Get your shine on because it's important. Be you. Get your grow on. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.